Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to the basement on this day of days where we are finally at the conclusion, maybe possibly, we'll see. But it's episode eight, season one, question mark of 1923. Am I hate watching the series now? Maybe just a little, just a little. I've stated my reasons. I will state them again at the end. Let's see where this bird lands. We'll see where this, this bird lands before I get to my final thoughts. But thank you so much for being with me on this journey. Some of you had said that you have totally opposite feelings than I have about the show. And some of you had said, yeah, that's exactly what I thought as well. So very divisive, decisive, divisive. The only thing I really, really need for them to do, because I have no idea where we're going, but the one thing I must have is Tiona, I need her to be okay. When we leave Tiona, I need to be confident that she's going to kick ass and be cool and have a nice-ish, as nice a life as possible. That's what I need. Just, to, just, just give me that. Please just give me that. <laughs> we shall see. But thank you again so much for being with me. We're going to get under the big cozy blanket. It's kind of chilly on the spring evening. Um, I have my favorite beverage with me. I hope you have yours as well. And let's get to it. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Oh. For half a second, I thought we were looking like Elizabeth's bed and she lost the baby. She took all her belongings. They don't have any belongings. Where's that girl? I killed her. That girl passed. Past hell. Mm-hmm. Should put my whiskey in my ginger ale. Children die, Marshal. How many die a year, would you say? Too many. Enough to warrant a graveyard. We'll come back with deputies. We'll set off from here. I trust you can ride. You wish me with you. I require it. <laughs> you don't know what she looks like. Oh! Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh, 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 Pops. Oh, Pops is. Pops was busy. <laughs> I'm sorry about your dad, Pete. So my, my shoulders are gonna get higher and higher because I'm like, I don't know where we're going. And this is Billings, right? Hey, where's the hitching ramp? <gasps> Took them out for the parking spaces. We'll hitch them to the cars. <laughs> So I'm taking it, this is spring now, or we're coming upon spring. What are you doing? Took away my parking spot. I'm gonna make another one. Oh, wait, we got a trial. We have a trial. We have a trial. I don't recognize her. I'm out of hell in the governor's firm. Oh. Whitfield Mining's firm too. Oh. Governor and Whitfield have the same lawyers. Interesting. They're all there. You wish to enter a plea? No guilty, Your Honor. Uh, I will set a bail hearing for, let's see. If counsel could approach, Your Honor, the prosecutor is unaware of the allegations against Commissioner Dutt. Our claim is self-defense. Three days later. You have proof of these allegations? I have rope burns around the defendant's neck. My client being held without bail for multiple murder charges when no such charges exist against Commissioner Dutton. Can they hear this? I feel confident in asking for dismissal, Your Honor. But I'll give your office the opportunity to find evidence to support the charge. Your client is released without bail. Released without bail. Don't look back. Don't speak. Let's go. Oh, can he help himself? You know what I'm looking at? Don't speak. No, I know exactly what you're looking at. I'm looking at a ghost. 
trying to settle this in court. I'll show you, Captain. Hey! the blonde didn't make it. <laughs> you keep sending boys to do men's work, Dutton. This don't end in court. It ends in a field in front of your fucking house. If that's where you want to die, I'm more than happy to help you out. Judge. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Never back in Spain. Spanya. Oh. Where did they get clothes? That money must be magic if it survived. <laughs> Shipwrecks. <laughs> Elephant tossing. <laughs> And her family gonna be on the ship too. So we never found out what happened at the restaurant. Hmm. You don't want to see him, you don't have to. We'll just hide in our room for three weeks. Three weeks. I was just gonna ask, how long is this voyage at this point in time? Three weeks. Is it still three weeks if you were to cross the Atlantic? Ish? Via Spain? Where do we go? I know some Comanche on the Washita River. It'd be easy to disappear there. Thank you. Hey, none of that. No Google eyes, no holding hands, no falling in love. They are bonded by trauma. If they find us, they will kill us. She's aware. I would think she's aware. All your focus should be on surviving. Fall in love later. <gasps> They've been trying to kill me since they took me. Oh, it's nowhere. I don't believe in later. I believe in right now. What does Pete have to say about this? Women. <laughs> I know, she's making a point, but... <laughs> Is he gonna beat me up? Maybe. What are you gonna do? You gonna let go? I've had my fair share of beatings. What's one more? <laughs> she is being bold and brave. And I think for once she feels a smidgen of safety. Just the, the smallest hint of safety. People who care about her. <laughs> yes, we know Hank cared about her, but you know what I mean. Vengeance will never make you money. You must set a goal and formulate a plan to achieve it. Then you execute it. Without mercy, emotion fuels every decision Dutton makes. Questions. He loves his land. He won't need a gun, Banner. We can kill him with this. So, question is... Oh, she's still around? She's awake. She's, they're still around. Feel like some sport? <gasps> I've procured... Some new toys for you, Lindy. I'm sure you'll like them. Mm, she looks thrilled. So I get, I'm get Banner's, Banner's tool for Whitfield. What, does Whitfield just see him as opportunity? To get at, oh Jesus, to get at Dutton? <laughs> Cause then what's the, pl I'm wondering like what his plan is. He somehow gets the land and then takes it from, from Banner. Lindy, come here. Sit oh down. girls, you should just run away. Run away the next available opportunity. You think I take pleasure from her pain, don't you? I think you take pleasure from just the pure misery. And it could be pleasurable for both of us but you can't focus on the pain just the pleasure it gives you see the passion in it 
the pleasures and the power. Try it again. And think of the power you have. Yes, Lindy. You see what I mean? Christy, stand up. We're gonna kill you now, Christy. It's your turn. Lay down. Oh. Oh. Lay down. Because he knows Christy's gonna really give it to her. Not a sound. I bet I don't have to tell you twice. Denton crew's just trying to get work done. That's it. They just want to get their work done. Man, they're going to town a lot. Thinking about flipping over and seeing the family. Always time for that. See you boys tomorrow. This is the last we see of Zane. We have gotten killed on these cattle loans, Jake. We're at 20% default rate. Not by me. Mm. I paid off my loan. It's a bad investment for us and a big risk for you. Let me propose something that makes more sense for both of us. Take out a mortgage. <laughs> you have 30 years to pay it back. I haven't got 30 years for anything, Kyle. I'm 78 years old. So is this guy now going to tattle the Whitfield? Well, that guy's going to tattle the Whitfield. <laughs> Man, they got spies everywhere. Daddy! What are you doing barefoot in the snow? Come here. God, that would suck. Having family where you are. Ugh. That's a radio. Well, a radio, see, it's a big box that, how do I explain it? It lets you listen to people from other parts of the world. How do they work? Well, I have the foggiest idea. <laughs> radio waves. <laughs> What's your radio wave? Well, you're asking the wrong side of the family <laughs> the hard question, son. I'll go ahead and ask your mother. So what does mom do? Just watches the kids and... Oh, he's got plumbing? He has plumbing. <laughs> Nothing bad better happen to this family. I will be so upset. Mama. Why can't you sleep? It's a monster. Where's the monster? Outside my window, mm -hmm. he's done now, but I thought you should know. Daddy's not in your room. He's in the shower with me, baby. Why is he in the shower with you? So we can save water. You're water. <laughs> oh. Nothing bad better happen to this family. It's worse in here. I need to get you up on deck, get your eyes on the ride. Of all the ships, they have to choose this one. After what we've been through, running into your ex is the least of your concerns. Oh no, they're gonna have a share in her seasickness? Oh, no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> they did this to me last time they were on the water. See? <laughs> Thanks, I have it. Alexandra! Jesus, who's asking for her? This better be her friend who told her to go have adventures. How angry are my parents? Angry enough to leave that day for London and all the bridesmaids. Ooh. I didn't see how me missing Safari would help Arthur's broken heart. Maybe we have a moment to them, so. <laughs> Introduce each other. That's love. He's a hunter, Alexandra. And when the chase is done, he will find something else to hunt. The chase is done. 
all of London will turn its back to you, Alexandra. They won't get the chance. I don't think she's planning on going back. Anything else? She's envious. I hold no judgment, Alexandra. Envy. My only wish for you is happiness. Envious. <laughs> Tonight we dine in the Grand Hall. Oh, oh. It's asking for it. Mm-hmm. You need a suit. I ain't wasting money on a suit. There's liners in the British fleet. We don't need money, we have credit. Whose credit? Whose credit? Mom's and dad's credit? I need some help with this. <laughs> I want to see the gift shops on this ship. She had to buy makeup. She bought jewelry. Lots of jewelry. Proof of the dress, I see. You know, a lot of gray draped over that chair. <laughs> And a coat. And a coat. Look at that coat. She's entitled to dine, son. That is not dining, that is parading. Just celebrating at my expense. <gasps> oh no, this may be celebrating a smidge. <laughs> You've just avoided marrying a woman who obviously does not love you. I'd say that's cause for celebration as well. That is Bruce, what's his name for? First X-Men movie. Would you care to dance? I would not. Mmm. Mmm. The girl is lost, son. Don't lose your dignity with her. Okay, Dad seems to have a good mind, state of mind for it. I'd be honored. <laughs> a little reason. <sighs> a libertine is what you are, sir. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's my fault. Apologies. It is certainly your fault. Mm. You will not turn your back to me, sir. Uh, watch. I'll turn my whole front. There you go. You got about 30 seconds. This bullshit ain't me. Then I'm gonna mop the fucking floor with you. This is when Spencer dies. This is when Spencer dies. I haven't hired in our room for three weeks. That was the girl in me. This is the woman. I'm dealing with a woman now. Because <laughs> I don't think Spencer is ever making it to Montana. It's been a long three weeks. Someone's dying. Oh, he's leaving. Okay, at least he's leaving. As long as he's... Oh, no. Oh, no. The glove is out. The glove is out. <gasps> he has defiled my honor. You are challenged, sir. Oh, God. Choose your weapon. This is This! He is. I kill for a living. You do not want him to fight me. No, I do not. Then control him. <gasps> control him. <laughs> Arthur, you defile my honor and then you abandon yours. Control him. Go, go, run away with your whore. Oh, no. Run away with your fucking whore. Oh, no. Spencer. Spencer. Please don't. What are you. <gasps> Challenge accepted. <gasps> Oh no. Choose your weapon. You choose. I could care less. Oh, what a lovely mess you've made of my family. Mm, she did nothing. <sighs> Fudge nuts. Oh no. What is. Oh no. There's a jewel on the map. Some American and the Earl of Sussex. There is no dishonor in refusing to fight. If he's doing this shit on day one, how do you think he's gonna be on day 15? 
Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not done yet. You should have just taken the sword and thrown it. Look behind you. Spencer. Or Alexandra's dying. Alexandra, I would, I would, I would step to the side. <laughs> Don't turn your back on him. Enough, son. I do not yield to you. I do not yield you, Yankee Scout. I do not Oh, he had a gun. Take us back to the brink. Arthur pulled a pistol. They saw, they all saw. Who will speak on his behalf? To the brig with you, son. Captain, I demand this woman be remanded to her quarters till the ship reaches port in London. You say you are my friend. Prove it now. She speaks the truth. <gasps> Arthur refused to yield, even after Spencer had withdrawn. Stop speaking. I will not hear it. Remand her to her quarters, sir. Mm -hmm. Or do you forget my title? Oh, her friend stuck up for her. That's something. I knew some bullshit would happen. <laughs> We're not going to get any resolution, are we? You okay? My belly hurts. <gasps> oh, she's going to lose the baby. She's losing the baby. She's stable now. The bleeding is stopped. For now. She flushed the baby, though. <gasps> oh. Wow. What a way to... I was going to say deliver the news, but that's terrible. How are you feeling? Like a failure. It's just nature looking out for you. If things weren't right, nature took care of it. It happens to horses. It happens to cattle. Happens to cattle you sell them. I get it. <laughs> so I have one purpose on this planet. Well, my aunt never had children. You saying she got no purpose? Ooh, that's very good, Jack. Well, I look at my aunt and all I see is purpose. Maybe that's your purpose too. Be a mother to those who ain't got one. And if I can't ever have children, then you'll never be a father. I guess it ain't my destiny. You're my destiny. You just said you can't choose destiny. You chose me. Well, look at you, I had no choice at all. We take what life gives us. It's all we can do. He said all the right things, I think. Oh, we're not gonna do what I think we're gonna do. We're not gonna do what I think we're gonna do right. Can I help you? Alice Chow. You're under arrest for violating Montana statute against miscegenation. Against what? Mm-hmm. You married a white man. Mm, we are doing kids. what I think we're doing. <gasps> Mongrel children! Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! No, 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 no. Oh. Let me just add another reason to hate this show. Just a pattern in our 50 years together. When you hide something from me, it's because you fear the thing. So what's got you scared now? Can't feel my fingers. Oh. I'm squeezing the towel, thinking maybe it'll make them stronger and get some feeling back. What now? It's the minor. What you getting? <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, this is gonna go well. Get up here on the porch. You're going to let that man up on our porch? No. I prefer to shoot down on him, and I prefer you not to be in the way when I do it. What a structure. Inspired by the lodge in the park, I presume. Other way around. 
Oh, you go, Kara. There will be no violence here, sir. This is our home. Have you no decency whatsoever? Because once a mine is producing, I think no more of it. I seek the next. One in ten Americans owns an automobile. At the end of the decade, it will be one in four. The world will be mobile. Get to your point, sir. You know they expect 130,000 visitors in the park this year? In 30 years, cattle will not be the largest industry in Montana, neither will mining. Can you guess what it will be? Tourism. And as the two largest landowners in the state, we stand to benefit handsomely. I was looking over the public records. You were, however, behind on your property taxes. That he paid. The payments are biannual, as you know. That's not a requirement, that's an option. We argue semantics. The point is, that first payment has not been made. So, I took the liberty of making it for you. If I'm not repaid by the end of the year, the deed reverts to me. We have done no harm to you. Why would you do this to us? Because he can. Because I can. I'm a businessman. The word decent doesn't apply to me. And we're not going to find out how Jacob gets out of this one. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Well, there's one. So what are you gonna do, Alex? Hmm. Where's the man's things? Hmm, the man's things. He just walked in without really knocking. Just pfft, walked right in. Wait. What are you doing? Where are you taking him? Where are they taking him? Let's go. Where are they taking him? Where? Captain's quarters. Turn around. They gonna push him off the ship? Make it hit so he does like he never existed. <gasps> what what, what you doing, you pumpkin? You give me no other choice. That's been made clear. I'll not notify authorities at your port of call. And a prince in succession has ordered you removed from the vessel. That's fine by me. How? We will ding you to port. I need my wife. You mean the Countess of Sussex? Yes, that's who you mean. The Earl of Sussex has called in to question the legality of the marriage. We were married on a ship in international waters by the ship's captain. Do you question your authority to oversee marriages? I do not. Mm. But the limits of my authority are met when a member of the royal family commands me to remove a passenger from one of the king's ships and detain another. I'm not leaving without her. It's not your decision to make. I don't think it's hers either. I think she has a choice. That's what I meant to say. It's her choice. Where are you going? She's been very busy. But we are removing him from the ship. When? Now. She gonna dive off the ship? Sir, my husband locked the door. Do you have a pass key? But of course, miss. Run! How? Hmm. Did she get a jump overboard? Where? Do we know where they are? Vincent! <gasps> Alex! I will come to you! And you will be good! I love you, Alex! Montana! <laughs> Why did you do this to me? Oh, Why? yes! Why? Yes! Beat the crap out of him. No. <gasps> this is when Spencer dies. <laughs> I will meet you in embarrassment, Montana. I love you, Alex. I'm so invested in this two seconds. 
because I'm so outraged. Don't fall apart yet. We'll just be a week or two behind. You may question the marriage, Sal, but difficult to question their sincerity. Spencer, I fear everything your parents fought so hard to build is being ripped from us. I hate the show. You are its only hope. You are our only hope. And how? How? How, Kara, how? You must hurry, or there will be nothing left to fight for. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Where do I begin? Where do I begin? Okay. Let me give you <laughs> my purpose with this channel, my channel and reactions in general. My viewpoint is you bring with it your, your own personal backstory, your ideas, what you've learned, what you've seen, what you enjoy. And some shows you connect with and some shows you don't. And I like exploring why people connect with certain shows and why other shows turn them off. So here's why 1923 turned me off. <laughs> so I can see why other people are hoping that there's a season two because we resolve nothing. I wanted to see where they landed the plane and we landed it nowhere. And my little, um, commercial fiction love and heart my happily ever after love and heart got no resolution i'm not satisfied 1923 and 1883 so here is my issues so when i was told yellowstone prequels i wanted the prequels to how yellowstone became yellowstone my favorite parts of the series Yellowstone is the ranch itself. The way they work the ranch, the Wranglers, the lore with like the train station and the, the branding. That's the part I love most about that show. So when I heard 1883, we would get the origins of the Yellowstone ranch. 1883, we didn't. Montana was never the goal of the Duttons in 1883. It just happened to be where they were when their beloved child died and a very nice Indian man gave them some land for a limited amount of time. <laughs> That's the only tie 1883 has with Yellowstone. And it was James Dutton. Dutton, Dutton. It was the thinnest of threads tying those two together. So I was hoping 1923 would kind of fill in what I had wanted from 1883. We would get James and Margaret's descendants. We would get John. We would get, which I ended up being Spencer. Who I didn't know it was Spencer. We would get them working the land, building the ranch, creating that Yellowstone ranch lore. And from the get go, we didn't get that. Instead we get Jacob and Kara who had nothing to do with 1883 why them at that point in time and i mean why not as in margaret was dot mark james had died margaret needed help so she just reached out to somebody what else brought jacob and kara to yellowstone what made them say yeah we can leave where we were sure we'll cattle ranch we got nothing 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 was it easy for them to transition? Was it very, very, very difficult? We got nothing. They were just plunked on the ranch and I'm just supposed to go, yeah, sure. I care about them keeping the ranch. I didn't even know John was in the show for two episodes and then he died. Done. And then we had the whole Elsa narrative about, you know, her family only, you know, two sons would see adulthood. One would only live to see his son. Why are we confusing me with that at all? I don't know. I don't know. And then we've got Spencer out in Africa and seemingly have zero tie to the ranch, 
Only because you told me he's a dutton. The only character on the show that kind of had any sort of a arching growth of they being a different person from where they started was Tiona. And if you took all the Tiona sections in eight hours, she was maybe what, 20 minutes <laughs> of eight hours. She had a way more character growth and movement and than anything else in the show. Of course, she also had the most tragic bits of the show. But I was intrigued by her because she had that movement. And that was my other section. So plot. The plot was a killer for me, for me not connecting, because the plot did not really make sense at all. As far as here we are and here we're going, it was a lot of waiting. Waiting for Jacob to heal. Waiting for Spencer to come and do what? Spencer's here, yay! Does he have money? Hmm. Was he gonna lead the posse? Hmm. Did he want to lead the posse? What's was Spencer's role supposed to be? Besides an extra body? But the second thing that kind of killed the series for me was the pacing. Episodes one, two, and three kind of clipped along in a bit. We had the great big showdown, you know, massacre episode three, and then after that, everything just went. Bleh and was pretty stagnant, except for the Tiona parts. So those are the two reasons why I did not connect with 1923. Story and pacing. And I don't know if I care enough to watch a season two. I think, uh, yeah, I'm on the fence. Part of me wants to see, well, how does he save, how does Jacob save the ranch? We know he does. I kinda wanna see how, but also a part of me is like, gonna be fine just reading about it like on IMDB or something like that and then we threw in the wackadoo Zane and his and his Asian wife okay <laughs> so ragey so ragey if I had a show of just Spencer and Alexander in Africa and it was just them and I was told I'm gonna watch the story about this couple He's a hunter, she's an heiress. They cross paths, they follow, fall wildly in love and it's their story of their journey to their happily ever afters. I would watch that, I would. Wouldn't care if party else. That part, if I was told this is the story I'm gonna get, that's great because I did enjoy them. And at the end, oh my gosh, that's a killer. Oh, it's so ragey. But in the context of Yellowstone, it didn't fit. <laughs> So, the, so the, yeah, the bits that I enjoyed, I hated Tiona's parts because of the subject matter and the trauma and horror she went through, but I enjoyed her progression and I want to see her happy. Visually, the show is stunning. As I've always said, I've, ne I've never doubted the visualness of it. The acting itself was great. Again, just plot and story. That's where I fell short. So if you enjoyed it, why did you enjoy it? What buttons of yours did it push? That's what I would be interested to know. Why you enjoyed what you enjoyed. Are you looking forward to a season two? Or does the thought of going through all this trauma again exhaust you already? And what would you want to see? Yeah. Yeah, so let me know because I am interested. What made you love this? But there we go. End of season one, 1923. We made it. Thanks so much for being with me. And do not be strangers. What do I have coming up? Lucifer is still going strong. We're in season two. That shows wackadoo. And I'm going to start in a week or so Black Sails. I'm diving into that one blind. All I know is it's a prequel-ish to Treasure Island. That's all I know. That's all I know. So it'll be totally, totally new. And <laughs> I'm told it's amazeballs, so I cannot wait to start that and I'd want you there with me. So please, if you haven't already, hit subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And I want you to, as always, take care of yourself. Stretch your body. This is your reminder. If you haven't, go eat something. You know how much I love toast. And then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all. And until next time.